Hello dear students, I am Ajay Karmarkar. Before starting further, I would like to say something. Please watch video completely. Sit with copy pane. If you find somewhere important, pause the video, note it and proceed further. Although you have facing any problem or difficulties, then please write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problem. And along with, please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you. Now here is the question. The upper half of an inclined plane of inclination theta is perfectly smooth while lower half is rough. A block starting from rest at the top of the plane will again come to the rest at the bottom. If the coefficient of friction between the block and lower half of the plane is given by, here we have given four options, mu equal to 2 by 10 theta, option B, mu equal to 2 10 theta, option C, mu equal to 10 theta and option D, mu equal to 1 by 10 theta. According to the question, here we have given an inclined plane which is making angle theta with the horizontal surface. Here, consider total length of this inclined plane is total length is L and half portion is rough and half portion is smooth. When a block which having the mass is M is sliding here, so initial velocity is 0 and final velocity is 0. So here, change in kinetic energy is 0. Only potential energy is exist. So here the potential energy means mg, okay, this is the weight and what is the height? You can see that sin theta equal to height h and diagonal is L, so h equal to L sin theta. So L sin theta, it is the height. Is it clear now? This potential energy is equal to when this block is crossing the half portion. And now the frictional forces exist. Here from this portion half, there is no any work done. So here friction force is only for half. Then what is the friction force? Fs upon normal force is equal to mu. Then block is, suppose this block comes here exactly in middle part. Mg act downward direction and divide in two components means Mg cos theta. It is Mg sin theta. And here is the normal force. Then normal force n equal to mg cos theta. Then fs equal to mu into n means fs equal to mu. What is n? n is mg cos theta. So this is the force. So mu mg and cos theta, this is force. But this value mg l sin theta is potential energy. So here is the force and what is the displacement? Displacement is half means L by 2. We have using here L by 2. Is it okay? Now mg, mg cancel out. L, L cancel out. Then uh, sin theta, this is cos theta mu by 2. Then sin upon cos is tan theta and this 2 is transposing and comes to the numerator to the left side equal to mu or mu equal to 2 tan theta. So let me see here option B is correct answer. I hope so. You understood this problem. Thank you for dear students staying till the ends of this video. And I know that very well, you are working very hard. And if I will be a part of your success journey, that it will be my pleasure. But when more and more students will join with your success journey, then it will be very great things. Thank you once again. Take care.